everyone. I'm Katherine Heller and I'm thrilled to welcome you to Math 255. Uh, this course gives you a great opportunity to learn about the topics of linear algebra and differential equations. Uh, and because uh, the majority of you are engineering majors who really like to see applications, uh, we're going to focus on a lot of applications in this course. So everything from mechanical systems to the math of Google PageRank, um, how we rank sports teams, uh, and even how we model the spread of a virus and determine whether or not that virus is going to become a pandemic. Now that's a topic that may hit closer to home than we would like for it to, uh, but it's one that we're gonna tackle this semester. Now, the purpose of this video is to talk about some of the logistics of our course and also to alert you to four tasks that I would like for you to complete before the first day of class. Don't worry, they're all really quick. Um, okay, logistics first. Now, because our course enrollment exceeds the number of students who can safely be in the classroom together at the same time, our class is being offered using the split modality. So as you may recall, what that means is you will be divided into two groups and you will alternate between watching lecture remotely and being invited to uh, attend lectures in person. Now, because everyone's health and safety has to come first, for my course, you will never be required to attend lecture in person. So, if you are feeling ill, if you have been in contact with someone who has the coronavirus, or if you just feel more comfortable watching lectures remotely, you will always be allowed to do so. However, if you choose to attend lecture in person, and I strongly encourage you to do so, that's definitely the best way to really engage with the material, then when you're in person, remember that a mask will be required and you will be expected to properly social distance. Okay, now to talk a little bit more about these logistics and those four tasks that I'd like for you to complete before the first day of class, we're going to need to hop on over to Blackboard. So let's head over there now. Okay, so here I am now at Blackboard. For those of you that may be new to North Central, uh, this is blackboard.nocontrol.edu, and you're gonna log in using your North Central username and password, and then find our course, uh, Math 255, which is Linear Algebra and Differential Equations. All right, the first thing I want you to find over here on the side is the tab for online meetings. So when you are watching lectures remotely, uh, this is where you're going to go. You're going to go to that online meetings tab. You'll see the option for class lecture. And if you come over to the circle with the three dots and click on it, uh, you'll see the option to join session. Um, so this is how you will watch lectures remotely. Now, a couple things to keep in mind when you are watching lectures remotely. Uh, the first is always to make sure that your microphone is muted unless you are asking a question or making a comment. Um, that just helps cut back on feedback and also can help prevent you from an embarrassing situation. So keep your microphone muted unless you're asking a question or making a comment. And then number two, just be mindful of your appearance. Now, I don't care whether you watch lectures in your pajamas or a prom dress. Uh, but just in case you need to cut your camera on at some point in time, just want to make sure that everything is nice and appropriate. Um, one other thing I want to point out before we leave the online meetings tab is uh, if you ever miss a lecture or you want to go back and re-watch something from lecture, uh, up here, these three horizontal bars at the top, that's the menu. And if you click on the menu, then you'll see the option for recordings. And so that's where all of the recorded lectures uh, can be found. Okay, so those are the logistics for the course. Um, now let's chat about those four tasks that I would like you to complete before the first day of class. And for all of those, we need to go to the course documents tab. Okay, so here we are on the Course Documents tab. There's a lot of good stuff here. Um, but the first thing I want to point out are the slides for the course. If you scroll down just a little bit, you'll see the Chapter 1 materials. And up first, of course, uh, the notes for Section 1.1. So if you click on 
the slides for section 1.1. Here they are. So I strongly encourage you to print these slides out, bring them with you to class, and take notes directly on these slides. So when I'm doing these, I always do um, two slides per page, and there should be enough spacing there uh, for you to have plenty of room, uh, as I said, to be able to take notes directly on the slides uh, if you do them two slides per page. So so that's task number one, is to print the slides for section 1.1. That's what you'll need for the first day of class. Okay, task number two, go up a little ways and you will see the syllabus for the course. Okay, so here's the course syllabus. And so the second task is to take just a few minutes to read the course syllabus, uh, familiarize yourself with the course policies and formulate any questions that you may have uh, that you can bring to the first day of class about how the course is going to be run. So task number two is to read the syllabus. Task number three, web work. So you see here our link for the web work site for our course. Now, initially, your username and your password are the first part of your North Central email address. So I want you to go to web work, I want you to log in, go to web work one, and complete problem one from web work one. Uh, this just helps to make sure everyone's login is working properly uh, right from the start of the semester. All right, so that's task number three, complete problem one from web work one. All right, now, after you've done those things, you've got your course slides ready for the first day, you've read the course syllabus, and you've completed problem one from web work one, then you're ready for the final task, which is your course contract. So you need to print and complete the course contract. Now, you have two ways to submit this course contract. Either you can submit the paper version, the hard copy of this, if you attend class in person, on either Monday the 25th or Wednesday the 27th, since we're doing that a, B uh, schedule, uh, you may not be in person uh, until Wednesday the 27th. So you can either give me your paper copy of your contract uh, either on Monday or Wednesday the 25th or the 27th of class, or you may submit an electronic version um, of your course contract right here on Blackboard. And if you need some help um, with scanning a document in case you want to submit it electronically, uh, if you go to the homework tab, um, then you will see at the very top of the homework tab instructions for how you can use an iPhone or an Android phone for scanning documents. Now, if you don't have an iPhone or an Android phone or you just run into any problems, feel free to reach out. I'm happy to help you troubleshoot um, how to scan. Or you can just submit the paper copy uh, when you come to class uh, that first week. All right, so those are the four tasks I'd like for you to do. Um, print the slides for section 1.1. Read your course syllabus. Complete problem one from web work one and complete your course contract. All right, now if you have any questions or concerns whatsoever, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'm happy to, uh, happy to help in any way that I can. And otherwise, I look forward to meeting you all in just a couple of weeks. Thanks, guys. Bye.